dear students, I am going to teach tenses now, which is very, very important topic in almost all competitive exams. So, tenses, tense means time. We can also say that tense is the form of the verb. In English, there are mainly three tenses, they are present tense, past tense and future tense. Again, each tense has been divided into four, four forms. Present tense has been divided into four forms, past tense is divided into four forms, even future tense is also divided into four forms. All together, there are 12 tenses in English. Now, I, uh, so I am going to give you an idea how to remember the tenses. Mainly there are three tenses, each one is divided into four, four forms. All together, there are 12 tenses. So, how to remember the tenses for a long time? See, if I explain like this, some of you may forget, some of you may remember. So, that is what I am going to give you beautiful techniques to remember the tenses for a long time. So, how to remember these three tenses I am going to tell you. So, to remember these three tenses, you can imagine the seasons names like summer, winter, rainy season. Three seasons are there, summer, winter, rainy season. You can compare the tenses with seasons. Three seasons are there, summer, winter and rainy season. Three tenses are there, present tense, past tense and future tense. So, each tense is divided into four forms. How to remember this? Each tense contains four months. Present tense is divided into four forms. So, summer contains four months. Past tense is divided into four forms. Even winter also contains four months. Future tense is divided into four forms. Even rainy season also contains four months. So, like that each tense is divided into four forms. Each season contains four months. So, like that you can remember. Total tenses, there are 12. How can you remember total tenses? Total months in a year from January to December, there are 12 tenses. In future, whenever you get any doubt, whenever you happen to forget the number of the tenses in English, immediately you can remember the months in the year. From January to December, there are 12 months. So, like that you can remember the tenses. There are 12 tenses. Let us see the first tense that is simple present tense. This is the first tense, simple present tense. So, it is very, very important. We can say that this is the king of all the tenses. So, simple present tense is used to tell daily activities. It is also used to tell regular activities. We can also use this tense to tell universal things. It is also used to tell quotations. We can use simple present tense for telling a running game commentary. So, especially simple present tense should be used to tell our habitual actions to tell regular activities, we should use this tense. If you want to write any sentence from simple present tense or if you want to write a sentence, so you should know the frame. Frame means principle of the tense, frame. Frame means principle. First we should take one subject, next verb must be in the first form, then extra words, E W for extra words, E W for extra words. So, friends, this is the frame to write or speak sentences from simple present tense. Subject plus verb first form, then extra words, E W for extra words. Now, I will tell you how to write sentences from simple present tense. So, this is the frame. We should follow the frame for writing sentences. So, let me write the subjects first. I, we, you they, he, she and it. These seven are called as subjects. Originally these seven are called as pronouns, but here we can call them like subjects. Some of you may get a doubt. Some of you may not uh, understand what is the meaning of uh, subject. Subject means doer, doer. Okay, a person who does the work is called subject. So, I, we, you, they, he, she, we can call them like subjects. Subject means, once again I am going to tell you, doer of the action. A person who does the work, that person is called subject. First, we should take one subject. Next, verb first form. For example, take. 
next extra words e w for extra words coffee i take coffee daily or every day i take coffee daily next we take coffee daily you take coffee daily they take coffee daily he takes he takes coffee daily she takes coffee daily it takes coffee daily so friends this is the process of writing sentences in simple present tense frame is subject plus verb first form plus extra words see here uh, first subject for this subject we have taken i next verb first form take take took taken take is the first form of the verb here so we can take any object for instance we have taken coffee here we can write daily or every day i take coffee daily we take coffee daily you take coffee daily they take coffee daily he takes coffee daily she takes coffee daily it takes coffee daily some of you may get a doubt sir from i to they sentences are like i take we take you take they take from the subject he and she he takes she takes why should we add yes like that so friends in simple present tense when the third person singular comes we should add yes or es or is to the main verb we should apply this concept only in the simple present tense in the remaining 11 tenses we should not add yes or es or is to the main verb some students get confused in every subject whenever they see uh, the third person singular like he she it and uh, raju rani they will add yes but we should not only in simple present tense when the third person singular comes then only we should add yes or es or is to the main verb so if you once understand one example well you can frame number of examples some of you may get a doubt sir if we understand one example well how can we learn number of examples how can we write number of examples very simple for example if you want to uh, if you learn swimming in one well you can swim in any well so like that if you are good at writing one example if you get the good idea on how to write one example you can write a number of examples you just keep changing the verbs let's take one more example i watch tv every day i watch tv every day we watch tv every day you watch tv every day they watch tv every day he watches tv every day she watches tv tv every day one more example i meet i meet uh, my friends every day or every sunday or you can say every month or every year so you can use any keyword so in every tense there will be some keywords the keywords of simple present tense are daily every day every week every month every year usually generally naturally frequently always ever never once twice thrice these all are the keywords of simple present tense in every tense there will be some keywords you must remember the keywords of every tense so friends once again i am going to repeat the keywords of simple present tense daily every day every week every sunday every month every year in the morning in the afternoon in the evening at night once twice thrice usually generally naturally frequently ever never these all are the most important keywords of simple present tense so while while we are speaking sentences or while we are writing sentences from simple present tense we should use keywords 
I am going to tell you one more example. I play football every Sunday, we play football every Sunday, you play football every Sunday, they play football every Sunday, he plays football every Sunday, she plays football every Sunday. One more example, last example. I go to London every year, we go to London every year, you go to London every year, they go to London every year, he goes to London every year, she goes to London every year. Friends, this is the process of writing sentences in simple present tense. Though you are very good at on writing sentences, there is no use of learning uh, writing sentences because in the competitive exams, they never ask you to write sentences like this from simple present tense. So, what will they ask in the competitive exams? Now, I am going to tell you how the questions are given uh, from simple present tense in almost all competitive exams. Friends, now I am going to tell you how the questions are given from the competitive exams especially from simple present tense. Sample questions for competitive exams. This is the process of giving questions from competitive exams. See question number one, <coughs> he dash under the bracket one verb is there that is play tennis every day. So like these questions are given. <coughs> so here four options are there. Option A play, option B played, option C plays, option D is playing. So, before going to catch the answer, what you have to do is, first you should find out the name of the tense. Blindly you should not try to find the answer. See, now I am teaching simple present tense, you know very well that this question has been given from simple present tense. But in the examination, from 12 tenses, they will give 4 to 5 questions. So, under the bracket, they do not mention the name of the tenses. So, that is what. In the examinations, while you are going to write the answers, first you should find out the name of the tense. The given sentence has been given from which tense. So, how to find out the tense? With the help of the keywords only, you can find out the tense. In every tense, there will be some keywords. In simple present tense, keywords are every day, daily, every week, every month, every year, every Sunday, in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon, at night, ever, never, once, twice, thrice, usually, generally, naturally. These are the keywords of simple present tense. With the help of the keywords only, you can find out the name of the tense. See, here, uh, is there any keyword? Yes, here it is a keyword. Every day, it is the keyword of simple present tense. So, you came to know which tense it is. Now, you should catch the answer. So, before going to catch the answer again, step number 2, what to do is, uh, you should uh, see which subject has been given here. Subject is he, he means third person singular. So, before going to write the answer, you should remind the frame of the tense. What is the frame of simple present tense? That is the frame of the simple present tense. Subject plus V1 means the first form of the verb. Then extra words, EW for extra words. So, subject, subject has already been given. Next, V1, V1 only should be taken. Okay? So, here play is V1 and played is V2, place is V3 and E is playing is that is ink form. So, A and C, two options are there, A option and in A option and in C option, V1 is there. Then which one should be taken? It depends upon the subject. Third person singular is there. When the third person singular is there, uh, we should add ESR, ESR, IES to the main verb. I have already told you that. So, here the answer is C. Answer is C. For example, the subject is they. Subject is they. Then what is the answer? Play is the answer. Play is the answer. Okay. Played wrong, plays wrong, is playing, is also wrong. For example, one more subject is my friend, my friend is the subject. My friend means third person singular. Play are, played are, plays are, is playing. C is the right answer. One more example. My friends, subject is my friends. My friends means third person plural. So, then which is the answer? A is the answer. A is the answer. For example, here every day is there. Symbol is uh, every day is there. Every day is there means a simple present tense, simple present tense or every week or every Sunday or every month or every year, every morning. So, whatever the symbol has been given here. Okay. Then let us see the second example. They dash went to temple every Sunday. So, what I have told you before going to catch the answer, 
you should find out the name of the tense, which tense it is. So, how to find out the tense with the help of the keyword only you can find out the tense. In this sentence, where is the keyword? Here is the keyword. Every Sunday is the keyword of this tense. So, every Sunday is there. So, that it is simple present tense. So, now let us catch the answer. So, before going to catch the answer, again you should see the subject. Which subject is there? They is there. They means third person singular. So, in simple, uh, before going to write answer again, you should uh, remind the frame of the simple present tense, so subject plus v1 plus extra words. So, which one should be taken here? So, third person singular, singular is there, singular is not there. If the third person singular is there, you can take this, but here they is the third person plural. So, plural is there, that is what go should be taken. For example, he or she is there, subject, he is there or she is there. When you find out uh, such third person singular, you should take goes. So, here the subject is they. So, that is what uh, answer is A. For example, uh, subject is Kiran. Kiran is the third person singular. Then answer is D means goes. Every day, every Sunday is not there. Every month is there. Every day is there. Every year is there. Every morning is there. So, like that whenever you find out such all the keywords, it is simple present tense, that is all. Let us see the third example. Shiva dash meet his friends regularly. Uh, again, before going to catch the answer, you should find out the name of the tense. So, uh, how can you find out the name of the tense with the help of the keywords only? Regularly is the keyword of this tense, regularly. It is used only in simple present tense. So, uh, which is the subject here? Shiva is the subject here. So, four options are there. This is simple present tense. V1 should be there and uh, third person singular. So, we should add yes. A is option A, V1 is there, option B, V1 is there. So, option C met that is V2 that is uh, uh, in simple future it is there. So, which one should be taken? Shiva third person singular. So, the answer is B. For example, in the same sub same sentence subject is subject is Kiran and Kishore, Kiran and Kishore, Kiran and Kishore means plural, then answer is A. For example, my sister, subject is my sister, my sister means a third person singular, answer is meets. One more example is my classmates, my classmates means plural it is. So, for plural this is the answer. So, friends, this is the process of asking questions from simple present to tense. I hope you understood very well. Uh, now, sometimes from simple present tense, some negative questions are also will be given. Now, I am going to tell you how, how will they give negative sentences, sometimes in simple present tense. I am going to tell you two or three examples, uh, friends, uh, from simple present tense, sometimes the questions are asked like this also. Do not expect always uh, positive questions, sometimes in the examinations, they may give questions from interrogative sentences and uh, negative sentences. See, uh, here is one example uh, of negative. See, subject is he dash not write diary daily. So, this is the sentence. So, how can you find out whether it is positive or negative? Whether it is positive or negative? How to find out? See, whenever you find out not in the bracket, not is there, no? When you find out not in the bracket, you can think that this sentence has been given from negative statements. So, uh, here uh, what I told you before going to write the answer, you should find out the name of the tense. How to find out the name of the tense? The symbol is there. With the help of the symbol only, we can find out the tense. So, daily is there. Daily means a simple present tense. So, you can find out that it has been given from simple present tense. So, negative statements. In simple present tense, there are two helping verbs, they are do and does. So, you should add not to do and does. So, after I, we, we should use do plus not, do plus not, do not. After I, we, we, in negative statements, after I, we, we, and any plural, we should use do not, do not means do plus not. After he, she, and any singular we should use does not, does not means does plus not. So, friends in simple present tense there are two helping verbs, they are do and does. So, in negative statements we should use do not and does not, do not means do plus not, does not means does plus not. 
after I, you, they and any plural we should use do not, after he, she and any singular subject we should use does not. Here which subject has been given? Singular subject has been given here, singular means that is he. So, uh, he means uh, should we use do not or does not? Tell me, do not or does not? Does not is the right answer because he is the third person singular. So, where is the does not? Do not write wrong, son, wrong answer, does not write? Yes, it is right answer. So, does not write is the right answer. So, which is the answer now? B. For example, same sentence is there, subject is they. Now, tell me which is the answer, dear students, tell me. Answer is do not or does not? Subject is they, sentence everything is same, but it has been started with they for example. They means plural. For plurals, which, which one should be taken, do not or does not? Do not. So, answer is do not. Do place not do not, do not write or do not write, this is the answer. Okay, let us take one more example. Keyword is every week, keyword is every week. Subject is <coughs> Prakash, subject is Prakash. Then which is the answer? So, every week or every Sunday or every month, that is the symbol of simple present tense. Subject is Prakash. So, Prakash means a third person singular. So, answer is does not write. Let us take one more example. Pradeep and Navadeep. So, Pradeep and Navadeep, two subjects are there. So, plural Pradeep and Navadeep. So, uh, do not or uh, does not Pradeep and Navadeep. So, plural. So, plural means we should take do not or do not write. For example, subject is Tulasi, keyword is every night. Every night means a simple present tense. So, subject is Tulasi. Tulasi is third person singular or plural third person singular. So, does not write. Tulasi, Pradeep and Navadeep. So, plural, we should use do not. So, like this you can write number of examples. So, this example uh, of negative sentences. Now, let us see sometimes uh, questions will be given like this from interrogative sentences, interrogative questions, interrogative sentences. So, question mark will be there, question mark will be there and questions will be give, given like this. So, dash is there, one subject is there dash here under the bracket there is a verb of his regularly. So, even interrogative sentences also should be found out with the sim with the help of symbols. Here what is the symbol? Regularly is the symbol. This is the symbol of simple present tense, right? So, how to find out? It is an interrogative sentence, question mark is there, okay? Here dash is there. So, it is interrogative sentence. So, first before going to write the answer, you should know in simple present tense how the interrogative sentences are started, okay. So, in, in simple present tense, interrogative sentences start with either do or does. In simple present tense, there are two helping verbs, they are do and does. So, uh, here subject is she, she means a starting word, starting helping verb is does. For example, plural subject is there. Uh, girls, boys, doctors, uh, like that plural subject is there, okay. Then you should start this question with do. So, here third person singular is there. So, does. Again, you should change this verb into v1. So, you should find out one option is do and another option is go or does go. If the subject is they, you should catch do. Here the subject is she, she means does, does and go, does go you should see. For example, subject you, they are friends or boys or girls means do plus v1. Here third person singular, singulars means does plus v1, plurals means do plus v1. Now, we should find out where is does plus v1. Uh, yes, does, does is there and v1 is there. So, does go, answer is b, answer is b. This is the process of giving sentences, questions from simple present tense. I hope you understood very well uh, about this simple present tense. Now, I am going to teach another tense. Let us learn the second tense that is present continuous tense. This is the second tense. So, now I am going to tell you when should we use present continuous. The definition of the present continuous is the tense which is used to indicate an action which is going on right now is called as present continuous tense. If you do not understand uh, this definition, let me give you very simple explanation about this tense. What is the name of the tense? Tense name is present continuous tense, present continuous tense. 
the meaning is in the title itself I can say present means now, continuous means what running works, present continuous means it is used to tell all our ongoing works, it is used to tell all our present ongoing works. The moment when we see if any action is going on that comes under present continuous tense. So, this is point number 1. So, present continuous is used to tell all our present running works. We can also use this tense to tell near future activities. For example, Narendra Modi is coming to Hyderabad tomorrow. We can say like this also, sometimes present continuous should be used to tell near future activities. Example is Narendra Modi is coming to Hyderabad tomorrow. Some of you may get it out. Sir, how can you say that future activity in present continuous? Narendra Modi will come to Hyderabad tomorrow is the right answer. Yes, 100 percent. Your question is right. Beautiful doubt you have asked. Of course, Narendra Modi will come to Hyderabad tomorrow is right. Narendra Modi is coming to Hyderabad tomorrow is also right. Sometimes present continuous should be used to tell near future activities. For example, I am going to teach activize and passivize in tomorrow's class. This is also right. I am going to meet you tomorrow in the evening. This is also right. So, like that present continuous can be used to tell near future activities. Point number 3, present continuous can also be used to tell temporarily stopped works. Present continuous is also used to tell temporarily stopped works. Some of you may get it out, sir, how can we use present continuous to tell temporarily stopped works? To tell stopped works, there are two tenses, one is present perfect tense and the other one is simple past. How can we use present continuous to tell temporarily stopped works? If it is your doubt, my answer is, see friends, for example, so, in the uh, about 6 months ago, you came to Hyderabad for taking coaching for competitive exams, okay, it is one year preparation. So, first 6 months preparation is over, one festival has come, for that festival your parents invited you, so you went to your village, you have decided to stay with your parents for 4 or 5 days only. So, one Sunday in the evening, you went to your village. So, uh, there at your village, your friends met you. <coughs> so, on Sunday in the evening you went to your village, in the evening at 4 o'clock you went, after going to your home <coughs> just you started reading the newspaper. While you were reading the newspaper, your neighbor came to you, your neighbor came to your home. He asked you, ah, hi Rakesh, what are you doing now? You should not say I am reading the newspaper now, he knows that you are reading the newspaper now. So, he is not bothering. Uh, uh, about what you are doing at this moment, presently what you are doing, he is asking you. Then you should say that I am preparing for competitive exams in Hyderabad. See, the moment when you tell the, uh, when you are going to say that answer, you are not reading any book, but even though you are telling that I am reading, I am preparing for competitive exams, actually you are reading the newspaper, you are not reading any book, but even though you can say. So, like that also present continuous can be used. So, we should use this tense for telling temporarily stopped works also. So, these are the definitions of present continuous tense. Uh, now, I am going to tell you some examples for present continuous. What I am doing now? I am teaching now. I am talking to you now. You are listening to me. These all are uh, examples of present continuous. He is going there, she is cooking now, my grandparents are doing yoga, okay. my uncle is working in uh, Chennai. So, these are the examples of present continuous. So, in present continuous, if you want to write sentences or if you want to speak any sentences, there is a frame. This is the frame of the present continuous tense. Subject plus am, is, are plus v1 plus ing form plus ew, ew means extra words. So, friends, in present continuous, there are three helping verbs, they are am, is, are. You should know where should we use am, where should we use is, where should we use are am is used only after I, is is used after he, she, it and any singular subject, are is used after we, you, they and any plural. For example, I, I means after I, which one should be used? Am, we, are, you, are, they, are, 
and any plural girls or boys or my friends are good next he he means is singular she is my friend is my sister is so like that after i am is used after we use and any plural subjects are is used after he she and any singular subjects is should be used you should know where should we use how and how should we use helping verbs so i have given some examples just uh, now i am going to give you some imaginary examples just imagine that you can visualize that now i am going to give you some imaginary examples you just keep visualizing while i am giving examples one day in a maruti car you are going to a market just imagine that imagine just visualize good are you visualizing whatever i am telling you good i uh, imagine that one day you are going to malakpet in a maruti car to bring vegetables you are going to malakpet in a maruti car why are you going to malakpet you are going to market to bring some vegetables imagine that you are going to malakpet while you are going to market on the main road manmohan singh met you he stopped your car and asked you where are you going then what's your answer i am going to market i am going to market because the moment when he asked you that question you are doing that work see i am going to market that is one example just imagine one more example one day you are taking coffee imagine that you are taking coffee while you are taking coffee you received a phone call from kajal heroine kajal wow just imagine that she asked you what are you doing now then which tense will you use to answer her question you should use present continuous because the moment when you are received uh, that question you are doing a work your answer is i am taking coffee now okay i am taking coffee now one more example i am going to give you one more day you are taking juice just imagine that you are taking juice while you are taking juice you received a phone call from junior ntr he asked you what are you doing now then to answer junior ntr's question which tense should be used present continuous because he asked you what are you doing at that moment so to answer his question you should use present continuous i am taking juice i am taking juice let's take one more example <clears throat> for example you are playing chess while you are playing chess with your sister imagine that just you are playing chess with your sister come on yes while you are playing chess you received a phone call from chandrababu naidu he asked you what are you doing now then which tense should be used to answer that question come on tell me present continuous yes you are right why why should we use present continuous because he asked you what are you doing right now so to tell present ongoing works present continuous should be used your answer is sir i am playing chess now that's great these are the some beautiful examples of present continuous dear students i think you understood very well the definitions of present continuous though you understood very well in the competitive exams no questions will be given like this in in competitive exams they don't ask you how to write sentences in present continuous then what will they ask so now i am going to show you how the examples or how the sentences will be given from present continuous so before going to know how the questions are given in competitive exams first you should know how to write sentences from present continuous if you want to write sentences you should learn uh, the frame subject plus am is are plus v1 plus ing form plus extra words so these are the subjects i we you they he she we can take even it also what is there it also we can take uh, it can be used for uh, telling the names of birds and animals okay so i is there subject according to frame we are going to write the sentences first subject should be taken we have taken one subject next what should be taken one helping verb should be taken after i we should take this helping verb am so helping verb is there next v1 should be there so go go is the v1 next we should add ing form yes we have added next ew for extra words to college now these are the extra words see finally i am going to college now second subject we we means we should take car 
after i am should be taken after we they are should be taken after he she it is should be taken so subject is we we are going to college now you are going to college now they are going to college now he is going to college now she is going to college now it is going to college now so friends this is the process of writing sentences so in the examinations they don't ask questions like this now i am going to show you in the competitive exams how the questions are given from this tense now i am going to tell you how the questions are given in competitive exams from present continuous tense see questions will be given like this here is a subject they dash under the bracket one verb will be given so for dsc presently this is the process of giving sentences from this tense so what i have told you while you are writing uh, while you are going to catch the answers first you should find out the name of the tense which tense it is it is present continuous how can you say that it is present continuous because i have mentioned the name that's what you are telling of course here okay you are attending this present continuous you can use easily say that this example has been given from present continuous but in the examinations from the 12 tenses they will be given for they will give four five questions then how to find out there so with the help of the keywords with the keywords with the help of the keywords only you can find out the tense so which keyword is there presently is the keyword first uh, you should know the keywords of present continuous in every tense there will be some keywords now i am going to tell you the keywords of present continuous tense now presently look don't disturb see these are the keywords of present continuous once again i am going to tell you the keywords of present continuous now presently at present look see don't disturb these are the keywords of present continuous so which keyword is there presently is there presently is there so it is present continuous tense so now uh, you should catch the answer now so what's what subject is given here subject is they so subject is they so which helping verb should be taken they means are so they are next under the bracket v1 is there but in present continuous we should add ing form to the main verb so we uh, prepare plus ing form preparing and the subject is they after they are should be used so are preparing we should we should find out where is are preparing this is is preparing wrong answer for example subject is singular he she it raju rani kiran kishor pravin prakash means okay is preparing but subject is plural plural means are preparing so b is the right answer b is the right answer b next let's see second example here rama rao dash take juice now so where is the keyword here now this is the keyword of present continuous so which subject is there rama rao so rama rao is the subject so after rama after subject one helping verb should be taken after rama rao should we use am or should we use is or should we use are rama rao singular after singular is should be used is so after rama rao is should be used next under the bracket verb is there so take is there we should not use v1 in present continuous we should use v1 plus ing form that is ing form so take plus ing form taking after the subject is should be taken helping verb so is taking we should go for is taking where is is taking this is are taking wrong for example girls boys any plural subject is there if there is any plural subject this is the answer but here singular subject is there so is should be used and ing form so i am taking wrong for example subject is i this is the answer i am taking so subject is here rama rao that is singular so is taking is the answer so answer is c friends like this from present continuous questions will be given very simple one subject will be given after the dash there will be a bracket under that bracket they will give you one verb sometimes they may give v1 sometimes they may give v2 or v3 any verb let them give but we should change the verb according to the tense if it is present continuous v1 plus ing form it is simple present tense means just v1 it is simple past means me, simple past tense means it should be v2 so here it is present continuous so every verb should contain ing form so friends sometimes from present continuous 
uh, questions will be given like this. These are the examples of positive sentences. Sometimes in some situations from present continuous, sometimes questions will be given like this also. Please uh, do not expect a simple questions. Do not think that they always give questions from positive statements. Statements means sentences. Sometimes they may give questions from negative sentences or interrogative sentences. So friends, let us learn how to write, how to uh, answer the questions when they give negative statements or uh, interrogative sta statements from present continuous tense. So how to find out negatives, uh, negative statements, how to find out negative statements, see under the bracket not is given. Whenever you find out not under the bracket, you can think that it has been given from negative statements. So subject is I dash not watch TV now. Uh, so friends, before going to catch the answer, what I have told you, you should find out the keyword. Where is the keyword of uh, present continuous in this sentence? Now, this is the keyword of present continuous tense. So next come to the subject. After knowing the name of the tense, you should come to the subject. After coming to the subject, next what, what to do is, you should uh, remind the frame of the present continuous. In present continuous, first subject should be taken, subject has already been given. Next what should be taken? Helping verb should be taken. Here which subject is there? I is there. After I which one should be used? Am. For example, subject they is there. They means are. Subject she is there. Is. So here subject is I. I means am should be taken. That is fine. Next. So not is there under the bracket. So next V1 plus sing form. Watch plus sing form. Watching. So we should add not because it is a negative sentence. I am not watching. Now we should find out where is I am not watching. Is it right? Wrong answer. For example, subject is she is there, he is there, any singular is there means he is not watching. Subject to plural is there for example, boys, girls, you, they. Then you can use are not watching. Here the subject is I. So after I am is used. So I am not watching is the answer here. So what is the answer? C is the answer. That is fine? Fine. Next, second example here. So dash, subject is there, dash, verb is there. In Hyderabad, presently, there is a question mark. Friends, whenever you find out a question mark in the given sentence, you can think that that has been given from interrogative sentences. So, whether it is positive sentence or negative sentence or interrogative sentence, before going to catch the answer, you should find out the name of the tense, which tense it is. How to find out this tense? With the help of the keyword. Which keyword is there here? Presently. Presently is the keyword of present continuous. So, now it is a question. So, you should know how the questions are started in present continuous tense. So, in this tense, there are three helping verbs, am, is, are. So, in present continuous, yes or no type questions are uh, going to start with helping verbs, am, is, are. For example, he is there, starting is should be there. For example, they, plural is there, are should be used. So, questions, for example, I am going is positive sentence, I am not going is negative sentence, interrogative sentence is am I going, subject to she. She is going positive sentence, she is not going negative sentence. Is she going? Interrogative sentence. They are coming. Positive sentence. They are not coming. Negative sentence. Are they coming? Is interrogative sentence. So friends, interrogative sentences start with helping verbs. So here which subject is there? He is there. So in front of he, what should we write? Is should be written here. Is. So here we should take is. Next, ing form should be taken. So is in the first dash, uh, is should be there. In the second dash, working should be there. So is working. We should find out where is is working. So A, is working. Yes, this is the right answer. It is wrong. For example, plural subject is there. They is there. Or girls, or boys, doctors, your friends, my friends. For all the plural subjects, you can take or working. So here is the answer. A. So friends, like this, 
different different types of questions will be given from present continuous. So friends, whatever the tense it is, now I am going to tell you very, very, very clearly. You should not get confused. It is very, very, very easy. Uh, I can say that even English subject is the easiest subject I can say. English, E-N-G-L-I-S-H. What is the first letter in this word? E, E for easy, E for English, E for enjoy. You should not worry about this English subject. You should bother about other subjects, Max, Physics, Chemistry, Botany, Geology. English subject which gives energy, it is very, very easy subject. You can rock. If you are very good at English, you can get tremendous confidence. You should not worry about English. You can be positive. It is very, very, very easy subject. See how easy it is. You should not worry about uh, English subject, bother about other subjects. For preparing English subject, you do not need to uh, spend a lot of hours. Just one time listening is more than enough. Right. So, in the competitive exams, whenever you are going to write answers from uh, tenses, I have told you already. Once again, I am going to tell you. So, from 12 tenses, 4 to 5 questions will be given. Before going to catch the answers, first you should read that uh, sentence once or twice very clearly. After reading that sentence clearly, you should find out which tense it is. This sentence has been given from uh, simple present tense or present continuous or simple past. Like that you should find out how to find out the tense with the help of the keywords only. You can find out the tense. So you should search for the keywords. For example, every day, every week, every month, every year is there. Those are the keywords of Simple present tense. Now, presently, don't disturb, look, listen, see. These keywords are there. These are the keywords of present continuous. So, like that, you can find out the name of the tense, friends. Uh, now, I am going to start present perfect tense. This is the third tense. Now, I am going to tell you the definition of present continuous. The tense which is used to indicate an action which has been completed just now is called as present perfect tense. Did you understand or not? Do you want me to repeat once again the definition of present perfect? Okay, fine. Listen to me once again. Tense name is present perfect tense. It is used to tell fresh completed works. That is all. How simple it is? Present perfect. Present means now perfect. Completed works. Present perfect tense. It is used to tell fresh completed works, that is all. The tense which is used to tell fresh completed works or recently completed works is called present perfect tense. So friends, if you want to write sentences from present perfect tense, this is the frame, subject plus, have and has, these two are called helping verbs and v3, v means verb, v means verb, v3 means the third form of the verb, ew for extra words, this is the frame. For every tense, there will be a frame. This is the frame of the present perfect tense. Subject is there, two helping verbs are there, V3 is there and extra words. So, uh, if you want to write sentences from present perfect tense, you should know this frame. And you should also know when should we use have and when should we use has. After I, we, you, they and any plural subjects, we should use have. After he, she and it. And also any singular subject, we should use has. The main verb must be in the third form, whatever the subject it is. So friends, once again I am going to tell you, tense name is present perfect tense. This tense is used to tell fresh completed works. Uh, whatever the work has been finished just now, that is all. Fresh completed works are recently completed works. It is very simple friends, present perfect tense, just completed works. That is the frame. Subject plus have oblique has plus v3 plus extra words. Now, if you want to write sentences, you should know when should we use have and when should we use has. After I, we, you, they and any plural subject, have should be used. After he, she, it and any singular subject, has should be used. Example, subject I, one helping verb should be taken after I, have should be taken, I have, uh, v3, take, took, taken, v3, uh, taken. Uh, coffee just now, these words are called as extra words. I have taken coffee just now. We have taken coffee just now. You have taken coffee just now. They have taken coffee just now. He, he have wrong. He has, he has, he has taken coffee. She has taken coffee. It has taken coffee. For example, my friend subject. 
my friend after my friend should we use have or has have or has tell me have wrong has yes has is right because my friend is a singular so after singular say has should be used my friend has my friends plural subject that is after my friends we should use have okay friends this is the process of writing sentences from present to perfect tense did you understand the definition of present perfect tense or not once again i am going to explain the definition of this tense tense name is present perfect tense it is used to tell fresh completed works now i am going to give you some beautiful examples of present perfect tense for example one day in the morning exactly at 6 o'clock you have taken coffee after taking coffee at 6 15 at 6 o'clock you took coffee at uh, 6 15 you went to your neighbor's home so when you entered uh, your neighbor's home they asked you or they offered you coffee they are asking you come babu uh, take one cup of coffee then at 6 o'clock only you took your coffee at 6 15 on some important work you entered your neighbor's home they, they offered you when you entered their home they offered you so to reject how can you say to reject or to receive ah uh, no thank you one day i have taken my coffee just now i have taken coffee just now because at six at six o'clock you took coffee at six fifteen you entered just 15 minutes ago you took coffee so just now completed work no you can say such fresh completed works can be said in present perfect tense no thank you I have taken my coffee just now. I am going to give you one more beautiful example. One Sunday in the morning at 9 o'clock, your dad has gone to market. One Sunday in the morning exactly at 9 o'clock, your dad has gone to market. At 9.15, Chiranjeevi came to your home and Chiranjeevi has asked you, where is your father? At 9 o'clock, your father went to market. At 9.30, Chiranjeevi came to your home. He asked you, Babu, where is your dad? sir my dad has gone to market just now see to tell such fresh completed works present perfect tense should be used at that time you should not use any other tense you should not say my dad went to market just now that is simple past simple past should not be used to tell fresh completed works present perfect tense only should be used my father has gone to market just now see friends like this present perfect tense should be used to tell fresh completed works now uh, i'm going to tell you how the questions are given in competitive exams like this sample questions of competitive exams so questions will be given like this one subject is there dash is there under the bracket one verb will be given these all are called as extra words so what i have told you in tenses before going to catch the answer first you should find out which tense it is so where is the symbol with the help of the symbol only you can find out the tense just now just now is the symbol of present perfect tense i think i should tell you the symbols of present perfect tense they is there you is there any plural subject is there this is the answer this is the right answer for such subjects but here subject is he so this is also wrong had gone has gone yes this is the answer has gone he is their subject so has gone is the answer so see here answer is let's see one more example they dash under the bracket one verb is there that is purchase a car recently okay so can you find any keyword in this sentence yes yes which one recently yes you are right recently is the keyword of present perfect tense then what i have told you after knowing the name of the tense you should come to the subject after coming to the subject you should go to the frame after going to the frame you should apply this frame here so what is there what should be taken first subject subject has already been given next helping verb should be taken after i you the and any plural have should be taken after he she and any singular has should be taken so which subject is there they they means have or has have yes correct so have should be taken helping verb is have next v3 v means verb third form we should find out the third form of the verb under the bracket they have given v1 
So, purchase, what is the third form of the purchase? Purchase, purchased and purchased. Purchased is the verb here. So, have purchased, have purchased. Where is that? Has purchased, it is wrong answer. For example, subject is she is there, he is there, Raju is there, my friend is there, for any singular subject. Has purchased is the right answer. But here, they is there, subject is they. So, this is the right answer, have purchased, have purchased. So, here also have is there, but it is V1, have purchased, it is wrong, it is right, have purchased is the answer. So, B is the answer, B is the answer. So, friends, like this, uh, questions will be given. These questions have been given from positive sentences. I thank you very much for having given your kind cooperation for this operation. Thank you.